Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will give a brief overview of Microsoft and how they go about doing business. Moreover, I will talk about the recent acquisition of Activision Blizzard and how this purchase will give Microsoft a stronger foothold in the gaming industry and at the same time lead the company's revenue generation. To start off, the company was founded in 1975 by Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Currently, the company has 181,000 employees worldwide and is led by Satya Nandela. Its core business is in developing, licensing and supporting software, services and devices worldwide. Microsoft's core business segments that drive its revenue generation are productivity and business processes, intelligent cloud segment, personal computing, hardware and gaming. Let's start off with the productivity and business process segment. Its main products are Microsoft Office 365, SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. The segment also includes supporting software like Skype, Outlook, OneDrive and LinkedIn and of course Dynamics 365. Next is the Intelligent Cloud segment. This segment's job is to license SQL, Windows Servers, Visual Studio and its recent acquisition GitHub. GitHub is a platform that provides a collaboration for project and code hosting services for developers and of course not to forget Azure, a cloud platform. In the personal computing segment, Microsoft provides the Windows Original Equipment Manufacturer license and other licenses of the Windows operating system to manufacturers and software companies worldwide. These licenses enable companies to use the Windows operating system, Windows Cloud services, Windows Internet of Things and MSN advertising licenses in their products. The hardware segment includes Microsoft PC accessories, PCs, tablets, gaming and entertainment consoles and other devices. Then there is the gaming sector. It contains Xbox hardware, Xbox content and related services. Recently, to expand its gaming portfolio, Microsoft acquired Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard was acquired for an incredible 69 billion US dollars. This deal was the organization's greatest ever buyout and the biggest arrangement ever made in the gaming business. Activision is the second biggest game studio on the planet and its income remains at $8 billion. After the deal, Microsoft will turn into the world's third biggest gaming organization by income, behind China's Tencent and Japan's Sony. With Blizzard added to the mix, Microsoft's portfolio now possesses top gaming titles like Candy Crush, Call of Duty and World of Warcraft. Activision's Candy Crush Saga and Call of Duty Season 1 are among India's top 10 most earning Android games. This acquisition will give Microsoft significant traction in the Indian gaming market. Home to more than 430 million portable gamers, India's gaming market is now worth 1.6 billion and growing at an 35-40% to annually. On a worldwide skate, information examination firm Newzo gorgeous that the worldwide gaming market produced 180.3 billion US dollar income in 2021. Microsoft's piece of the pie is set to go from 6.5% in 2020 to 10.7% when the Activision bargain closes. As of right now, Microsoft will get Blizzard's 400 million month-to-month -month dynamic players from 190 nations. This is significant as the acquired games will be bundled into Microsoft's Game Pass. This strategy fits well with Microsoft's plan to introduce gaming titles through a monthly payment membership style. What's more significant, when 5G will be introduced, cloud gaming will become a real thing in many nations, including India. With a strong foothold in India, this could turn out to be a huge profit maker for the company. This Netflix-style membership administration that Microsoft will roll out will give its individuals admittance to an alternative index of games from a scope of designers, including EA. These games can be played on all devices including Xbox consoles, Windows PCs or Android cell phones. These games will be streamed from the cloud and can be easily played on any gadget. Microsoft's plan is to push cloud gaming to where games are hosted on their servers and players can play them on their gadgets. This plan, as I mentioned before, still requires the introduction of 5G. After the widespread adoption of 5G and cloud, Microsoft will turn into a considerable player in this industry. Furthermore, Microsoft said the Activision buy will give the company building blocks to the metaverse or virtual internet-based universes. The metaverse promises individuals a place they can work, play and mingle. Its other metaverse projects are also coming to fruition. It has sent off its blended reality headset HoloLens 2, which is currently accessible in India as well. 
Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella is excited about Microsoft's newfound resources to work in the Metaverse project thanks to its newest acquisition of game developing talent. All things considered, the Metaverse utilizes computer game innovation as its establishment and brings great prospects for the future of immersive gaming. This year, it is sending off Microsoft Mesh, which allows clients to make vivid computerized duplicates of their workplaces. Some say the world-building game Minecraft, which Microsoft purchased in 2015, also looks into the Metaverse project. Microsoft is a reliable name in the business industry and it has been around for quite a while. The company has an enormous drive to put resources into the organization's numerous income streams. It remains exciting to watch how investment in the metaverse will affect the gaming industry as a whole. Moreover, it is exciting to see what Microsoft will come up with when 5G will become a commonplace. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.